But thank you for thank you. drawing it to my attention. Okay. That's um, London pupils. A question Ooh. from Mr. Barnbrook. Uh, the question relates to uh, the proportion of, of black or ethnic minority pupils in London, and the question is, is whether uh, the office of the mayor is going to be supporting pupils uh, of, of all communities, in particular uh, the white British ethnic minor minority group. And all I can say, frankly, uh, Jeanette, is that uh, we in this body uh, will work for uh, children across London, regardless of which ethnic group they come from. Right. Um, well, let me try to put it in another format. I'll start off with something you may understand, and I'll go into more details. If you plant, say, 100 trees, seeds, and 70% of those are pears, and 30% of those are apples, when the trees come to fruit, you'll find that you have 30% apples, 70% pears. So I thought I'd bring that analysis around. What I'm getting at here, and I think what the London needs to know, is that with the changing demographics, in such a way, we can't control who has children, who don't have, doesn't have children. But the fact is, I'd like to know what stance you, the Mayor, and the GLA will actually take in trying to slow down this rapid replacement of the white British population in London. Uh, do you know, Jeanette, I, I really don't know, I, I can think of an answer to that question, and uh, I don't... And you don't have to. So, well, let, me, let me put it this way, then. So you're quite happy to see the population, I the white indigenous population of London, decrease at such a rate that in the future there may not be any white British population. Is that what you're actually indicating by not giving an answer over? You know, I, 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 I repeat... Uh, that the we in this body and uh, everybody interested in kids across London is determined uh, to work for uh, young people of all communities. And I think in this country and in this city, we can be incredibly proud of the way, by and large, uh, we have produced very harmonious uh, relations between all communities and we are going to do yeah, that utmost uh, to continue with that work in this body. Yeah, OK, I agree with that. The fact is, I, I, don't, I don't undermine the fact, what's your that the uh, harmony and the diversity of London is its strength and its beauty. But it's contained quite clearly here in the Constitution, the Race Relations uh, Amendment Act 2000. Under the Race Relations Act, the Mayor and the GLA have a strategy duty to assist all ethnic minority groups in London. Can the Mayor tell me how many ethnic minority community groups the GLA fund and how many of these community groups are of the white British ethnic minority. Trevor Phillips made it quite clear, very, very clear, that parts of our community, especially those white working class children, in education, are failing drastically. So I'd like to know what the GLA is doing to amend the problem and balance it out with parts of our London, parts of the uh, boroughs in London, becoming, the white community becoming such a minority I'd like to know what support and what efforts are put into those locations to support the community and bring the community up to a level playing field. For example, I'd like to mention a few of the um, minority, the black ethnic minority groups. And remember, before I finish this off, even in Barking and Dagenham, the black ethnic minority groups are saying to me, something has got to happen. There's a balance laid down for the people that have been here for a period of time and they are simply losing a, a hold on this. So, we've got the Sudanese Chinese in need, we've got the Somalian Parents and Children Play Association, the Thames Bangladesh Association, the Afghanistan Asian Community Operation. Can you tell me one direct British, Welsh, Scottish, Irish, English community group that are getting benefits from this community to up uphold their situation of being minority groups within the community? I'm um, sorry, that? no, I Mr. Mayor, I'm going to be... Well, there goes the answer to that one, thank I'm you. I'm going to be quite clear here. Mr. Barnbrook's out of time, and I'm just going to, for the record, read out the Greater London Act 1999, Section 404, and that states quite clearly that there is a requirement of this body to have regard to the need to promote equality of opportunities for all persons, irrespective of their race, sex, disability, age, sexual orientation, or religion. 
we, we have a regard to eliminate unlawful discrimination and to promote good relations, Mr. Barnbrook, between persons of different racial groups, religious beliefs and sexual orientation. And that is the act. And so we will now move on to the next question, which is on post offices from Mr. Cleverley.